Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to address the ECONU 2016 conference. The National Community Economic Development Conference is a key platform to strengthen community economic development and small business growth across Canada. This is crucial because the only way we can promote inclusive and more sustainable growth is by working with our local communities. Development is always a bottom-up process. At the OECD, we help countries design, develop, and deliver better policies for better lives. That's our motto. Our goal is to help governments to learn from each other, to strengthen their policies and reforms, to improve economic performance and social well-being. It's about exchanging experiences, what works, what doesn't. The key to achieving this objective lies on the implementation capacity of our authorities and the reality, experiences, and solutions of local communities are an essential element, an essential ingredient to strengthen this capacity. Implementation failure can be the result of weak capacities on the ground, policies that are not well adapted to the local context, lack of local ownership, poor coordination between different areas and levels of government, a number of reasons. At the OECD, we're working with governments to address these challenges and translate policies and reforms into better opportunities, better realities. We've also been stressing the importance of breaking down policy silos to bridge the delivery of policies locally. For example, by injecting flexibility into our policy frameworks, local actors can tailor policies to local conditions and therefore create better outcomes for their own communities. Now, the OECD's program on local economic and employment development, known as LEAD, is working precisely on these issues. Its work has demonstrated that both local and national actions matter when stimulating growth and building inclusive communities. In this respect, taking an integrated approach that cuts across employment, skills, economic development, the social economy, entrepreneurship, is absolutely crucial. Canada and the OECD have long had a mutually beneficial partnership on local economic development. Canada was actually a founding member of the LEAD program back in 1982, almost 35 years ago. And since 2013, it has been chairing its governing board, the so-called LEAD Committee. You know, this is the way that we address the institution that was created around um, this uh, initiative. Canada has also been sharing its own valuable experiences on local development through programs such as the Employment and Social Development Canada and the Community Futures Network. In turn, the OECD has been active in feeding into Canada's policy debates on these issues. For example, we're currently finalizing a local job creation report focusing on Saskatchewan and the Yukon and their indigenous communities. Now, this is very granular. This is very, very local. This is very specific, very targeted. Our Center for Entrepreneurship is currently working on a study for the city of Montreal, focusing on the importance of connecting skills, innovation, and economic development in order to create better jobs and also to match the skills with the job opportunities. The report will also provide recommendations on how to improve the use of talent, one of Montreal's most abundant assets, to increase productivity a challenge that we all face today. Mesdames et Messieurs, nos modèles économiques 
ont produit des progrès remarquables, mais aussi établi des niveaux records de concentration de revenus et des inégalités. Ce n'est pas durable. Il est impératif que la croissance puisse livrer une part de progrès pour chacun. Collectivement, nous n'avons pas fait assez pour ce que ceci puisse se réaliser. Pour cette raison, l'OCDE a mis au point un nouvel ordre du jour pour favoriser une croissance plus inclusive et plus durable. Le développement économique des collectivités est un élément clé dans cette stratégie. Je vous remercie et je vous souhaite des travaux productifs.